Bus has just arrived. Morning, Rodney. Morning. How are you, mate? There we go. Good. Good, good. So the dogs are rearing again. Full of beans. Hello, guys. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Righto, we'll do the uh, bike run again this morning. So we'll do, uh, I'll give you a list of who's coming out. And we'll put the rest of the dogs in. Any uh, issues coming up today, all good? Roads are good? <laughs> Hey guys, so today we've got a couple of border collies with us. Uh, border collies uh, in the top two or three in both uh, energy, so most energetic um, behind the Kelpie, I believe, and they're also in the, the top two for intelligence, so highly intelligent dog, uh, very athletic and uh, energetic dog. Uh, we've got a couple here today, so we've got Midnight first of all. Hello Midnight. Midnight, midnight, yeah. Good girl, darling, hi. Hi, good girl, yeah. Midnight is a long-haired border collie and uh, her, her favorite thing is the lure. Uh, but the, the border collies, they love to chase. They, they love uh, playing ball, which we've got Lily here. Lily! She's up there, she knows where we're going. I'll zoom in on her in a minute. There you go, darling, good girl, come on, Lily. Lily's very ball motivated, loves uh, chasing tennis ball um, and, and chasing toys. Hi, Lily. Good girl, darling. Good girl. So Lily is uh, part border collie, part wolfhound. So that's why she looks a little bit different. Uh, then we got uh, Louie. Hi, Louie. Hi, darling. <coughs> Louie, Louie. Come here, mate. Good boy. Good boy, Louie. Hi, hi. <coughs> 
So Louis is a textbook young male border collie, just beaming with energy. He doesn't really know what he wants or what he's doing at the moment. He just wants to do it and do it fast. Um, so he, he's got a bit of a mix across the whole heap of things. He hasn't really zoned in on uh, the one main thing that he likes at the moment. He's sort of taking it all in his stride with the ball in his mouth there. But Louis is the, the textbook, you know, really fast teenage uh, border collie. Um, a lot of the time, the border collies, because they are so intelligent, if you don't give them the, the exercise that they require, they can turn destructive very quickly. Um, chew couches apart, dig huge holes in the backyard, wear tracks up and down the fence in the backyard because they're just back and forth, back and forth, running every day. Uh, I remember as a kid, my dog, Border Collie, um, you know, we had a, a family of uh, six. So four kids, we were all runners. So we used to take him out, uh, her out running every day, all four of us. So she would just get so much exercise. But, uh, you know, school holidays would come around and um, we, would, we would take her up the park and just ride all day on our bikes and everything. But, you know, she was just, she could handle it. She just kept going and going and going. And the moment we had a day off, you could see she was just pacing the backyard. Come on, when are we going out? When are we going out? So they need heaps of exercise. Um, we've also got uh, Jetto here. Hello, Jed. Hello, mate. Good boy, Jed. Good boy. Good boy, Jetto. Good boy, mate. And uh, Jetto's been with us for quite a while. I actually trained Jed when he was four or five months old. Um, and he's, he's uh, one of the originals back in the day when you know, Bandit and Charlie and, and Jack and Tangy. Um, you know, we've, we've known Jen for quite some time. So uh, Jed's the one of the older Border Collies that we've got here. Um, and, you know, Jed's a very sweet natured dog. Uh, he, he does still have the textbook Border Collie in him where he, as a younger pup, he wanted to run circles around the whole group. He would literally run in circles the whole time. So anything, something was happening, there was a ball game or something, he would want to be on the outside and he would just cut these huge laps around the whole group and just constantly run and just do these laps. It was, uh, it was quite comical to see, but in his older age, and he's um, also had some hip surgery, um, he started to self-regulate and slow down a little bit, which is good for him, because it means he can uh, moderate his exercise into into being an older dog. But uh, the Border Collies, I've got a soft spot for them. I had, I had one as a uh, young boy. I remember I convinced my mum to get me a dog, uh, this, this little black and white puppy, uh, if I got a good report card in year seven in primary school. So... <laughs> I remember I, uh, I studied as hard as I could as much as you do in primary school and got a good report card and so I got myself a dog and I was inseparable from this dog my whole life up until I joined the Navy. Um, and so she would come with me everywhere. She'd go to soccer training with me. She'd go to you know my mate's place, follow me on my push bike. I trained her. She was perfect. I never had her on lead. She did everything I said. She would always look for me. And even, it was a bit sad, even when I joined the Navy, uh, my mates would all bring my dog home because she would get out and go visit all my mates houses looking for me uh poor thing uh but yeah they're they're highly intelligent uh huge amounts of energy uh, they all have their own different personalities here um but if you don't give them enough that's when you get the um cheeky behavior come out destructive behavior rebellious behavior um you give them what they need energy wise and they are very loyal um you know and and rewarding dogs <laughs> but uh yeah so today we've got quite a few border collies and just thought i'd give you a quick update on uh, border collies my limited knowledge on on you know their personality and and traits um they love to be trained if you don't train the border collie or or the highly intelligent dogs you don't train them and it's just uh, a big waste they love to communicate they've got lots of eye contact they're trying to decode and um, you know, decipher what you're trying to tell them. So they love training. They're super intelligent. They really pick up training quite well. Um, and they will tune into you as the owner. Um, you know, very, very uh, good dogs to, and rewarding dogs to have around. A lot of the border collies that you see out there, they're often uh, used for trick dogs, as in um, you see a lot of the uh, people that train the dogs to hop on their feet or jump through hoops or do all those kind of trick training things. Border Collie is great for it because they're so intelligent. They're very easy to train. Um, so just thought I'd give you a quick update on uh, the Border Collies that we've got here today. I'll go over them again. 
Uh, Lily is the crossbreed border collie with wolfhound. Then we've got Louie, who's the brown border collie. And then uh, we got Jetto, who's the tricolour border collie. Hello, Jed. And uh, Jed's been with us the longest. He's been there from the beginning, trained him as a puppy. And then uh, Midnight, she's also been here from the first year that we started. Uh, we met her as a pup in our local area back when we were living in Sydney before we started the farm. And, um, or right as the farm started, actually. So when she came of age, at about eight or nine months, I think, uh, she started coming up with us. Didn't you, darling? Hey, good girl, yeah. She actually looks a lot like what mine was, a big fluffy coat uh, back when I was a boy. Um, and then there was, did I go through them all? Jed, Louie, Midnight, Lily. Yep, good to go. Border Collies, great dogs, I love them. And uh, look out for them in the yard. Uh, Midnight loves the lure. She is a big, big fan on the lure. Um, she likes to sit there and keep going more lure runs. She doesn't like leaving. Um, she, she's a big fan. So, and when usually with the lure, Jetto likes to do those big loops. Uh, his his trade is to round them up. And uh, Louis's still learning. He's only relatively new to the farm. Uh, loves it. Goes hard all day. Uh, but he'll start to tune in as he matures as to what activities he likes and and what his traits are. So a bit more on uh, my dog Asher, the border collie. When I was a young kid. I uh, got her when I was 12 and she was glued to my side all through my high school years uh, up until I joined the Navy at 20 years old and um, yeah like I said before when I left to join the Navy uh, she would go to my friends houses that she knew and um, they would bring her home every afternoon and say you know your dog was at my house again um, I'm going to apologise and you know put her in the backyard or put her in the house and the next day she'd jump, jump the fence again and go to someone else. And you know, this was a tall fence, six foot fence, but she was just determined to find me. She was worried about me. I just left one time, you know, she couldn't understand what, what had happened. Um, but meanwhile, I was in a two state south and, you know, training uh, to be a sailor. And um, every time I came home, she would just be just the most uncontrolled excitement that you could, uh, you could experience. And, to the point where she was wetting herself and just jumping up and squealing and running and getting a toy and dropping it for me and wanting to play uh, fetch. And so it was really, really uh, hard for me leaving her behind when I um, you know, went to join the military. Uh, all the way up until, unfortunately, uh, she, she lived to the ripe old age at 18, but unfortunately I was on a deployment overseas when um, she had to be uh, put to sleep and we had the vet come out to the uh, to the house and all my siblings and mum and dad were there and they were all giving her a pat and uh, she knew something was up but um, you know even right at the last minute everyone's saying their goodbyes and crying and um, as the vet uh, gave her the green dream uh, she just quickly lunged up and licked my sister on the face and uh, to this day I, I think that she was saying give this to Luke <clears throat> Poor thing, wish I could have given her one last scuttle. But anyway, that's my dog Asher. Hello guys, hello guys, we're coming out to the big paddock. Good girl, Bindi, good boy, Biscuit. Hello, hello. Yeah.